Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials and hit the notification bell icon to get instant notification. Hey guys, welcome to another video and today we're going to have a look at yet another beta update for the amazing Xiaomi Pocophone F1. The number here is MIUI 10 Beta 9.5.30. Now before you go asking me these questions, how to install this update? Well, this is not a global global beta, this is a you know closed beta, so you can certainly install it. All you need is a unlocked bootloader and a TWRP, flash it via TWRP and you're good to go. Now, a couple of things that have improved over here is the May security patch and the echo problem has been fixed is what they are saying. But before we dive into all that, why don't you subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. At the same time, here's a card to my second channel, Let Us Kratos 390. Go ahead and check that channel out as well. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials, my name is Kalash. Hey guys, welcome to another video and yes, yet again you're looking at the Xiaomi Pocophone F1 in all its glory on smartphone tutorials. I really hope you guys liked uh, yesterday's live stream which was there for PUBG and I did answer a few of your questions. I plan on doing all these live stream quite more often. Let me know in the comment section what exactly would you like to see in a live stream. For now, what we have here is the Xiaomi Pocophone F1 with an unlocked bootloader running TWRP and yes, we are talking about yet another brand new update. Now this particular update here is known as the MIUI 10 Global 9.5.30 Beta. Now first notable change that you'll notice here is the 1st of May 2019. So we finally have the latest Android security patch and of course the Android version on this one is Android 9 as always. There is no change with that. But what to expect? Well, we will have a look at the benchmark scores and a couple of other things. We will also have a look at ambient display and Geekbench and Antutu. And I will also quickly share my gaming experience on this particular ROM. Now, first things first, if you want to have a look at the battery usage over here. So it has been on battery for 18 hours and 58 minutes. The small spike you see there was when it was connected to the computer to copy a few files. It was not charging actually. So yes, that's the hardware usage. We've used it for three and a half hours and we still have a good 39% of battery. So the battery life is pretty good. Uh, when it comes to gaming in PUBG, well, first things first, we have this new Ramjet feature over here. Uh, it is not a new feature. It has always been there in security, but now we do get a you know icon on the home screen by default. As always, the gaming turbo feature is already there as well and apart from this what i would like to share is something very very interesting so say if you go to settings and then you go to additional settings you need to have developer options enabled for this now usually your phone would be in this state turn on miui optimization but if you turn this off and then if you go to display here there we go you will see something very very new that is ambient display now of course this doesn't work even if you go ahead and turn the screen off the ambient display doesn't come up as it should but what's really really great to see is that they have included it although this is a lcd panel it might be very very power consuming for this one because the whole panel has to light up but we do have a lot of different options over here so what excites me is for devices like the k20 pro which i'm planning to buy we're going to have a host of uh, options when it comes to ambient display and yes uh, it does work on some other devices like the note 6 pro maybe the note 5 pro uh, I would also like to share that we have the Note 7 Pro in the house. I'm thinking of doing a speed test between that phone and this phone. Give this video a like and mention that in the comment section if you want that speed test to happen. Now, apart from this, uh, what very, very important is for this particular update is that they have claimed or they are claiming that they have fixed the call echo in call echo for users when they were you know, making a voice call. There used to be an echo that used to be heard. That means basically the noise cancellation was not working pro perfectly fine but now that has been fixed uh, now apart from this there's no point in going to the change log because they have updates for mi9 when it comes to ar core that is not applicable to the xiaomi pocophone f1 but to answer all your questions in short what i would say is yet again this is an update that i am using as a daily driver and it is perfectly fine it doesn't heat up and before we end this video let's quickly have a look at the benchmark numbers over here so if we go to antutu benchmark 
We did score a similar 293,698 and apart from this if we go to Geekbench here so if we go to say history okay now these are the last three runs over here so single core 1714 this was I think 9.5.17 9.5.23 was 23.46 and 63.34 and this time we scored 15.27 and 44.50 so if you look at it from a benchmark point of view the last update 9.5.23 gave us the highest significantly high score but for me that doesn't really really make a lot of difference because benchmark numbers don't really you know translate into real world usage but more or less it works perfectly fine while playing PUBG I have tested screen recording and all the other things so everything is a thumbs up for this particular update I really wish that ambient display was working dark mode is still missing there are a lot of things that they should have added including dark mode they've given it to note 7 pro in a stable update yes in a global stable 10.3.7 the note 7 pro has dark mode and the poco phone doesn't which is a flagship so give this video a like and mention the same in the comment section if you want this message to go all the way to xiaomi because we are a lot of poco users we would want the dark mode with us so until the next one this is kalash signing off at smartphone tutorials keep smiling like this video take care and goodbye